everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic, and we're looking at something a little different from Mattel today for today's review. We're looking at some new plush assortments that have just hit stores. We have the Legacy Collection uh, plush set of six. We also have something really cool that just hit, and that's this Kent Cretaceous Bumpy plush. It's big, it's electronic, I can't wait to show it off. Um, so yeah, something a little bit different than the uh, normal Mattel toys that we usually look at, um, but still really, really cool. I mean, there's some really cool stuff with these Legacy plush too so we'll go ahead and dive into those first uh each one is is uh available at target right now here in the u.s i don't think they're available anywhere else yet but they are uh intended for legacy collection you can even see uh the tag has the legacy collection Jurassic world legacy collection artwork on it you got the uh, mattel tag on every single one of them and the Jurassic world logo and this one i'm holding in my hand if you don't recognize it is the sick triceratops it, they even like uh stitched it so that it it's laying on its side, um, which is just, I love that. That was my first kind of peek at this collection when it was spotted in store. And I knew immediately that that was cool that they did a sick Triceratops. Um, and from then on, I, you know, I kind of discovered what was, what was uh, the rest of the assortment was made out of. And then I got really excited because we have some really cool ones like the Tranodon. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at the style on these. Um, this is part of Mattel's. Uh, they have like a, a bunch of different plush lines like this. It started with Star Wars. I know they've done Marvel now. Now they're doing Jurassic. There's sort of this handmade quality. You can see that's made of like corduroy. There's like random cross stitches. They all have that. And I can show you on some of the other ones. There's a patch here on like a, like a like you put on the uh, knee of a, of a leg that needed to be patched they have like patches on a couple of these other ones too um stitches on the face really tried to make it look you know handmade uh, i think what's funny is the star wars ones that kicked it off are supposed to be handmade um based on galaxy's edge the disney world theme park where they actually sell handmade star wars plushes there um so they kind of riffed off of that for their target plushes and then they obviously went ahead and did it with jurassic too so pretty fun this is the other side of the triceratops he looks kind of weird because he's <laughs> again he's meant to be laying down but what's also super fun about these if you didn't notice on the tag is there's a little uh audio thing they all make noise triceratops yeah. makes the triceratops noise yeah. i don't remember it making that in jurassic park but uh it probably made it in one of the other movies yeah. and jurassic park it kind of just laid around and moaned but uh that's the sick triceratops again he, he's made with his like shorter um back limbs so he's laying down like the sick triceratops which is which is super fun. Uh, I love that. Uh, the other, we have five more to look at. And the other one we have here is Velociraptor. This one's funny because it actually says Velociraptor blue uh, on the tag. That was obviously some sort of miscommunication at Mattel because this is not Velociraptor blue. It's a raptor, all right. If I didn't know any better, I would say that it is the Jurassic Park 3 raptor. Um, also makes the noise. Also has the little cross stitches. And uh, I don't think this one has any patches, but you can see they even like printed white lines um around its eyes and stuff to make it look like it's stitched this one's not made of any corduroy it's got kind of a lined fabric on the body but it's just pretty soft and got these nice claw uh like felt claws and felt mouth um but it's sort of like in a pose with its with its uh like from this angle i i feel like these are meant to be like one dimensional raptors because from this angle it looks ridiculous but from here it's it's kind of cute it's got some uh it's got some charm to it so not Velociraptor Blue, um, probably supposed to be a Jurassic Park 3 Raptor. I would have liked for them to make it like maybe the Alpha Raptor with the, you know, the, the one we're getting for the Amber Collection. That would have been a cool stuffed animal to get. This one looks a little bit generic. I feel like the Jurassic Park 3 Raptor is very white. I don't know, this is sort of like cream colored. So that's probably my least favorite out of all these. Um, but uh, this one is awesome. I'm sure you recognize this. This is the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. It's got the frill here and of course the noise. Perfect, literally just like the movie. Um, it also has that cross stitch detail. What's interesting is like this one, this Triceratops, these cross stitches are actual string, right? Like this is actual string here that's cross stitch. It's not like a printed effect, but on this one, it's all printed. Like it's, none of it is actually stitched on. I guess they use most of the budget on this one for the, uh, the felt frill, which is really cool. It's got the design, like sort of like the Mattel legacy figures with the red over the yellow. I love the noise on this one too. He's got kind of the dome headed frill too. So uh, a classic Mattel, or sorry, a classic 
Legacy Collection Species Classic Jurassic Park Species Dilophosaurus. Uh, yep, got the tag there that says Dilophosaurus. So this one looks extra ugly from this. Clearly, you're looking at the, the other side of the Dilophosaurus when you're looking at it from that way. But um, kind of cute. This big old, you know, big-headed Dilophosaurus with those big black eyes. Um a classic species, and you gotta love that noise too. So heading over to the other side, we have a Stegosaurus, which was, you know, a legacy collection in that it showed up in Lost World first. Interesting paint, or not, I shouldn't say paint, interesting coloration they went with with this one. I don't really recognize this from uh, from any movie necessarily, but it, you know, it's it's got some more visual interest to it. It's got all the printed, um, printed stitch work. I like that. It kind of sounds like a parasaurial office. Yeah, they're the Triceratops sounds different. They have similar kind of trumpets, though. Um, interesting. This one kind of looks like, too, that it has... Um, no, its legs are more equal than the Triceratops, but it also looks like it. it's kind of meant to be... It's one-dimensional. Again, this one kind of looks empty from this side. They're all sort of got a one-dimensional feel to them, Um which is kind of interesting, but felt uh, felt plates on it. One little lone felt spike. Big giant black eyes. So that's the Stegosaurus. Uh, we also have the uh, T-Rex. With the iconic T-Rex roar. Big giant patch on its back. Again, all that like printed detail. Um, felt arms, two little felt arms. Again, not much of a looker from one direction, but kind of meant to be viewed from this side. Felt teeth, felt arms, got that nice patchwork, like a patchwork on its head, patchwork on its back. So again, meant to be, meant to look like it's handmade, right? Uh, we also have um, the last one, which is my favorite, is the Tranodon. Now, if you're thinking, oh, that doesn't look like a Jurassic World Tranodon or a Jurassic Park 3 Tranodon, that's because this is based off of the end of Lost World, which makes it such a cool release. It's the it's the Lost World Tranodon that shows up in, like, literally the scene right before the credits where it flies in and lands on the branch in the sunlight. Really cool scene, uh, and we don't really get a lot of toys with that. Back in the Kinder days, we got a kind of a Tranodon uh, kind of based off of that, but it was huge. Um, but this is this is just a, one of the few toys they've ever made now that uh, that honors that design. Even has the uh, even has the the call to it too. So this one actually looks a little bit better out of all of them from the other side too. Um, but uh, again, it's got all that like um, printed stitch detail to make it look handmade. It's got the corduroy wings. There's not a lot of corduroy on these. It's all printed corduroy, but this is true corduroy, like actual real corduroy. Same with the Triceratops has the real corduroy on it. So um, these two are definitely my favorite of the line, the Sick Trike and the Tranodon. Those are the ones that I feel like are the best. Uh, Dilophosaurus is, is uh, close behind, but I feel like Stegosaurus and the Raptor, um, you know, I, they don't necessarily evoke film designs to me. T-Rex is cool. Um, but, you know, they, they kind of all have to share the same style with the black eye and all that. I would have loved the T-Rex to have, like, the big dark area around its eye and the little yellow beady eye to make it really Jurassic Park T-Rex. But I kind of understand these all have to share the same style, not just with each other, but with the other Mattel stitching, stitchy animals. But Tranodon, the last one I'm looking at here, is just, uh, it's an awesome, awesome collectible um, for Jurassic collectors. I mean, if you don't collect any of these this one's just so cool because it is based on that lost world trend on that had five seconds of screen time if that so really cool legacy collection love anything legacy collection from mattel and the plushes were definitely a big surprise this year but let's go ahead and take a look at something a little more contemporary a little more recent not this legacy collection and that's the stuffed animal bumpy i mean look at this thing uh, obviously you can't uh, feel it in your hands watching it on the screen but it's 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 fluffy. It's a little heavy. It's squishy. Uh, it's it's uh, made. Of, you can tell it's made of really nice material. Uh, it doesn't look like it's. Um, it doesn't feel with that it's filled with um, or or to the touch. It doesn't feel like a carnival stuffed animal. Like it feels super high quality because it's so heavy and plushy. It has this nice printed back on it uh, that shows you know the ankylosaurus armor. We of course I don't know if you saw it, the Camp Cretaceous. Uh, artwork on here that says ankylosaurus bumpy just so you know what you're getting into and this one also makes noise which we'll get to um but uh yeah i mean i love how the the tail is stitched um so that it's always hanging up 
And those big old black eyes are actually um, printed with like a like a pleather or something. So they have some shine to them that makes it give this gives this thing a little bit more of a cuteness factor too. And I love this like iridescent fabric that's stitched around the eye too. Um, I don't know if you can see it catching light there, but it's iridescent or sort of metallic fabric that really just gives this thing some more detail and of course the front horns i don't know if you can see on camera but they are clearly asymmetrical this one is much much more material and taller than this one um i don't know if you can tell on camera but the one's definitely way bigger than the other um so nice little attention to detail there too but let's talk about the the noise it's one of the front paws i think it's, it's this one right here so makes all those cute little bumpy noises that we always wanted. And it's awesome that it's finally here, you know, when uh, Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous came out on Netflix, everyone was scrambling for bumpy merchandise. And uh, you know, it's been about a year and we finally have a proper bumpy plush that I'm really excited about. Is it like photorealistic or is it exactly like the, the, sh the show? No, it's got some style to it, but I think for the, uh, you know, the kid demographic, they're gonna love this thing. Cause again, it's super soft and squishy and cute. And of course it's got that, that noise that it's able to make too. Just a really fun toy and somewhat big too. I think this thing is 20 bucks. So you get 20 bucks for this bigger stuffed animal with the um, with the uh, that sound effect too. This one I got from Amazon. I'm guessing they'll start to hit in more different places closer to the holidays so you can pick it up. Um, but yeah, I love this thing and I hope they keep making, you know, more bigger size plush, especially I think with, they, they could do a few more versions of Bumpy and, and people would still be excited about that. But um, that's Bumpy and of course the Legacy Collection plush set. Those are exclusive to Target and you can pick those up right now. Um, there's, they've started to hit stores more and more. There's a box of them in the toy aisle. If you're curious what you're looking for, it's like a little tray box um, that will have either, either you know a full set of six or whatever's left. Just have to keep an eye out and then of course i said bumpy was available on amazon but hopefully here anytime soon it'll start to show up in stores too but that's all of the mattel plush uh that i've got to review i know there's another set at walmart that i haven't picked up quite yet um but extremely happy with some of these legacy collection ones i, I love anything legacy collection but the the sick triceratops and tranodon are so cool and of course we got finally the classic bumpy plush that's a ton of fun as you saw so i think that's all i got for today again i'm tim with collect jurassic and and thanks for watching.